Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the video on how to make bow ties and I've got two versions, so this is with a bow tie clip and this is with an adjustable adapter neck where you can make it tighter or bigger depending on how thick the, the person's neck is so they're both really easy, really really simple to do and I am doing a sewed um, bow. I've already got one here ready to go for showing you both different parts of the tutorial. And I've got my bit to make the bow here. Just so you know, I've got two different sizes. So I've got this size, which is a smaller one, and that is nine and a half by six and a half. And we've got the bigger versions, which are eight inches by 10 inches. So like I said, I'll put all the measurements in the description below for you. So if you miss anything, don't be too concerned. And I'll put the name of all the clips and everything. Because this is the traditional bow tie clip, which is on the back of this one. So like I said, that slots into the collar either side. And then you put the clips down and it locks them into place and secures them against the collar. So it depends on which type that they prefer. If they prefer the adaptable one to make it bigger and smaller, obviously you've got the hook on the back of there. You can just hook that in and that holds it in place like that. So that one's there to go on here shortly. So like I said, that's already made. And then we've got the, these are called bow tie buckle hardware or tie clip metal adjustment hardware. So again, I'll put that in the description below, but you get three pieces. And like I said, that's the key part of this. And I'm using FOE for this. So fold over elastic and it's just very simple i've got this one that matches the color of my here my bow tie here and i've already pre-made one here so you can sort of see it a little better so this is a small band and as you can see it connects together here and you can pull it along and make it shorter And pull it back and make it longer again so that's what we're going to achieve and this bit is very very simple so this is 50 centimeters of foe or 20 inches whichever you prefer to work in so always heat seal your end so that they don't fray and you want to take this slider one first and you pop that through and over there then take your side without the hook and you pop that through now you want to move that about 10 centimeters down i tend to eyeball it, ball it uh, but roughly 10 centimeters say there you go that's about 12 but it will do so and then take this side so you're working with the plain side so the, the this side is like the shiny pattern side and this is the inner so pop this back a little bit so you've got a dip to put this through and you want to pop that through that first one and you want to be going in a loop so you like going round in a circle so plain side round so pop that through one side and pull it down a little bit and then you bring it back under and through this side okay and then you can sort of move it to where the 10 centimeter back is now the main thing to this don't glue it to this side so don't glue it to the side that your clips facing out you want to glue this to this side so the fa the side facing it's facing in towards okay because if you don't it won't adjust it will stick to this side and it will all go horribly wrong as i know from doing it myself multiple times so adjust it you only want it about a centimeter over and then all you need just move it out of the way a second touch of hot glue Line it up nicely so it's all hidden inside there. 
and that side is now nice and adjustable and then decide which way you want your clip up most people prefer them upwards facing out so do it so it's facing out and again heat seal this end take this clip pop that through there and again just about a centimetre over glue that all nicely pop that down nice and flat against there and give it a little squish so it holds and there you go you now have an adaptable bow tie holder and we will be attaching our bow about here quite close to it the same as we have on this one okay so first we need to make our bow so as i said i've got the slightly smaller size and this is eight across by six eight and a half by six and a half and then i've got this bit which is an inch and a half wide by four inches and obviously we fold that into three pieces now with this cotton obviously this is like a denim effect and it does have a little bit of fraying if you want to um, you could use anything like your free stop or anything like that and just do a little coat down the edges but it's entirely up to you because most of it can't be seen when it's all put together so don't be worried about it too much and what i would do with this with the six and a half is i fold this side in at two two inches show you so two inches there two inches this side there you go and then to make your bow nice and even i fold it in half this side sort of fold it in half once it's cooperating okay that's better so even it up so what i do as you can see here they're not quite lined at the moment so all i do is i take my scissors and again it gets rid of the little bits of fraying as well just cut it so it's all nice and lined up as well and then I'm going to take a pin and pop that in the centre so we know when we do our sewing in a minute. Okay, so there's the centre. And then what I like to do is put a dot of glue just here. So, tiniest dot of glue. Just there, that end, and we're going to do exactly the same this one. Just a tiniest dot of glue, just there, just to keep the everything the same width. And then take this side, and it doesn't matter which side you do it in, whichever one like you're confident in. You just pop this side in that and again this hides like i said any fraying and things like that and you want to pop it in centimeter in okay and again all i do on this is just under here not a lot of glue just a dot just to keep it in place so it doesn't move and shift about and then we can line it up with our centre and you want it just over halfway so this half centimetre is over here so it's in between here you want it in the middle and then you can fold it in half to make sure both your sides are even okay and then i take my needle and thread you can take your pin out of the way and from above one two three four five six now if you wanted to glue instead you'd glue the center together so both those pieces together and do the same amount of pinches 
so you get three three creases pull your thread through there we go and you get three nice even creases in the center and you just want to wrap that round a couple of times and as you can see you can't see any of the fraying whatsoever now and the tiny minimal amount that you'll be able to see in a minute will be hidden by the the center so take that stitch it off however you personally prefer and what i'll do in the link below as well is i'll attach the no sew cotton version that i've done so if you want to do the no sew version it would be the exact same thing only you'd follow the no sew uh, cotton version first make sure that it's all centered so if it is isn't you can just take your cotton and move it a little like that and then obviously we've got this bit and as you can see i've just folded it into in one side and i'm going to put top glue just here touch not a tot so what's the top when that's at home so just tack that down that side we're going to do the same the other side fold it in there we go then we're going to take this because we're going to glue this one to the headband the band where we've got the join we want just up from there a little bit of glue on there line up the back of your bow with that glue and this is what you have at the moment and then we're going to take this and we're going to wrap it round glue there against the back make sure you've got no fluff on your bow and then round keep your headband out of the way so you don't cut anything by mistake cut off any extra and again i just move that out of the way and i'm just just gonna glue those bits as well just so it doesn't pop open And bring it over, hide that cotton, move your band out of the way, and just glue. And there you go, you've got a super cute bow tie on an adjustable necktie. And then if you wanted to do the bow tie clip now the key thing with these is this is the clip to press it down to get these to pinch the collar together so you need to have those facing upwards so those need to be up so all you want to do is a drop of glue in that join there here's my other bow that i've already made earlier Pop that across the center of your bow and hold it till it sets as you can see i've got a pre-made well half made center ready to go just trim that down a little bit of glue there around that middle i'm going to put a little bit of glue here round round over rid of the excess and again just lift it up and out of the way and obviously i've already glued mine down but if you needed to you can go in and just put a dot of glue so it doesn't move or open or fray there we go 
to bring that all the way around and again I'm just going to put a touch of glue on the side as well so it stays nice and tight just there and there we go a super cute bow tie clip and like I said to put it on the child you would open those slot it onto the collar either side maybe glue string is out the way Together. that's better and get rid of those little glue stringies here so you'd open that up slot the collar through that side and through that side and then you pinch that together like so and that will firmly stay on the child's collar and the same with these like I said those will go perfectly round the neck like your collars and the, this one will clip again clip the right way up the cap Open your clip, slot them in, clip them down. And there you go. Two different ways of how to make bow ties. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.